Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as many of you may know, and as I have posted on previously, disabling unnecessary startup apps from automatically launching and running in the background can do things like help free up your memory, it can speed up your boot times, increase battery life, save resources, and to some extent, at the end of the day, ultimately improve your overall system performance. Now, another location where you can access your startup apps is heading to your task manager um, in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And yeah, you can monitor and enable your startup apps as well. And I have actually posted on how to turn startup apps off in Windows 10 and Windows 11. And I'll leave a link to that video if you are interested in the description. Now, when it comes to um, disabling startup apps and trying to speed up your operating system by doing so, we can actually take this um, whole process one step further. And in case you are unaware, um, the operating systems actually have a startup folder, which um, from Windows 10 um, was buried quite deep in the operating system. And if you empty the contents of the startup folder, it can also help boost and speed up your boot times and to some extent increase your system performance because it stops apps from running and starting in the background when you do um, start up and boot up your operating system. Now, um, just to do a quick recap, uh, back in the day, the startup folder when we um, were using Windows 95, 98 XP and so on was part of the, uh, the apps list uh, in the start menu. And you could actually access the startup uh, folder uh, in the start menu. Now, with Windows 10 and, and newer, Microsoft hid the startup folder quite deep in the operating system. And the startup folder can be found in two places and locations in the operating systems. Now, um, if you are using a personal account, uh, it's uh, in the first location. And then if you have more than one user using your system, so you have multiple users, then it can be found in the second location. And then to get to the startup folder, um, I would suggest the simplest would be at first, um, if you are using a personal account, um, is just to right click on your start menu, click on run, and then just enter shell colon startup with no spaces. That's shell colon startup, and I'll actually leave this in the description so you can copy and paste. Click on OK, and that will take you directly to the startup folders location that's buried quite deep um, as a hidden folder in the operating system. Now you can see that my startup folder is empty. And that's the way I like to keep it. And if you do see any app shortcuts or folder shortcuts and you are not using those apps um, or those folders when your computer starts and don't need those to run in the background, then I would suggest deleting any app shortcuts or shortcuts to folders you have in the startup folder. And it won't actually delete the app and it won't remove any software. It's just deleting the shortcuts that point to that software or those apps that could possibly run and will run when you start up your system. And then emptying this folder can help speed up your boot times and also at the end of the day, as mentioned, boost your overall system performance. So that's where you can access the startup folder contents um, if you are a personal uh, account user. And then the second, if you have more than one user using the same device, is once again, just head back to the start menu, right click, click on run. And this time we're going to enter shell colon common space startup so that's shell colon common space startup click on ok and this will now take you to the startup folder if you have um, more than one user using the same device and the same applies if you see any contents that you're not using like shortcuts and shortcuts to folders just empty the startup folder and at the end of the day as i did mention and um, that could help speed up your boot times and at the end of the day prevent apps from running in the background and then ultimately improve your system performance. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.